Hey, good afternoon everybody, it's Steve. Welcome to the Little Little Woodshop and our Sunday evening blog. So what do we have for you this week? I think we told you last week uh, in the midweek shout out I had a little oops with the tractor at the house and uh, ah, now I owe the wife a mailbox. I don't know why, fellas. I cracked one side, ripped the door off, and the flag's gone. But she thinks it needs to be replaced, so. All right, anyways, we're gonna make the missus happy. And what we're gonna do is I've gone into, let's see, myoutdoorplans.com, okay? This, this, is not, uh, this is not my project. I just found one. It was a real simple mailbox. Uh, and to me, in my opinion, after looking at these, the only difference between a mailbox and a birdhouse is the length and the front door. That's about it. Um, this is really a simple project. I'm going to walk you through what I did real quick. We've given you an outbound link to the, to the project that's online. Again, it's not ours, it's not this shop, and we always try to give attribution back. I could not find the individual's name, though, in the, uh, in the packet here. So, but I, I do like to let people know that it's, it's not ours, it's not our project. Now, I am going to take and tweak it a little bit to be more to my liking. Now, what I've done is I've basically measured up what I had. My box was roughly, my old box is 19 inches long, and I wrote the measurements down. 10 wide, oh, sorry, 10 high and 19 deep, 11 inches wide. There we go. Uh, I put a 45 degree bevel on the table saw on my sides. I have almost done my front and back, almost like a gable on a house. We're going to cut out a little door or for the front, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do the door just yet. I haven't decided because I want to put a very specific engraving in the front of the door. Uh, again, as far as the sides go, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to put my street numbers on. I hate those adhesive stick-on ones because where I live it gets cold and hot and things fall off. And No, we're going to engrave them. I'm going to show you how to do these with a 2 or a 2.5 dimension so you have your choice. Maybe you want your numbers raised. Maybe you want them engraved and sunk in. That's going to be entirely up to you, but we will show you how to do it both ways. Uh, we have a Craig's jig sitting here. This is basically how this is going to go together. I'm going to Craig's the whole thing on the inside, screw it all up together tight. And then uh, for my roof, I told you I have, uh, I have family that work in the trades and they have for years. Well, I get all their scrap, and I have got some really nice pieces this long, a couple a little longer and a few a little shorter, but it's all Azek. It is brand name Azek Composite. I'm going to basically use my composite for my roof. What I'm going to do is one of the edges is nice and smooth, the underside is smooth. Where I have to butt my two edges on the roof, I'm going to run them through the table saw. I'm going to put a nice bead of probably silicone or something there. I don't want any water dripping down in and getting, you know, getting my mail wet. Heaven forbid if I couldn't pay my bills, right? Yeah, that would break my heart, so. But it is. It's going to be a really easy build. I'm going to go in. We're also going to nest the job. I'm going to put it into a sheet of something. Now, again, I told you we were going to build this out of whatever was on hand. So I ended up going with some... Uh, 2x, there's a piece of 2x12 on the bottom, 2x8 on the sides, and I had just some scrap poplar kicking around for my, uh, for my front door and my, my back, back wall is going to be in, inside my mailbox itself. Nothing too fancy. It's a great woodworker's job, but what's going to separate our box from any other mailbox on the street is all the engraving work. If we choose to, uh, to go that route, we can, okay? So, stay tuned. We're going to include some stills. I'll also bring the program in, and I'll show you, ladies and gentlemen, how to put all this together on one sheet. I think you could probably run this on MDF if you wanted, but obviously now you're going to have to seal it up or paint it really good if you live in an area where you have a lot of harsh elements. Uh, me, I haven't decided on finishing yet by any means. Uh, but the other thing I could tell you, if you wanted to, once you've got your box all together, uh, regardless of what you use for roofing material or anything else, uh, maybe you decide to paint this. Shoot the whole thing in some white primer, get your little fella or get your little miss, and have them come help dad out in the shop. That's something I haven't been preaching to a lot of you lately, and 
I think it's really important to teach a kid hands-on skills like this. I really do. I think it's awesome. And uh, you know, if I had a little one at home, I'd certainly have him up here with me. And I'm sure most of you do. Uh, but yeah, get your little fella out there with your little mess. Have him help you uh, either put it together or maybe paint it up really nice for mom, okay? So let's keep that in mind as well, all right? So you guys stay tuned. I said we'll, uh, we'll include some still imagery with this. Like I said, it's not a, it's not a major build, but it, it serves a purpose, obviously. It crosses an item off my honeydew list, and it also gives us a, uh, it gives us a blog and a nice little project for Sunday. All right, everybody. Hang on. We'll be right back.
Alright everybody, well we're back. We've got our, our mailbox complete. I wasn't going to uh, sit you through the assembly process or cutting boards. We've given you a, you know, a marked up cutting sheet. I've given you a, an outbound link to where we got this. I told you before, I believe this came out of myproject.com, myprojects.com. Very simple, very easy build. The last thing that I have left is my front door right here. I wasn't going to hold the video up another day. I've still got a mill and engraving in the front of the door. Uh, because I'm an old Yankee, I save a lot of stuff. Somebody had given me an old kitchen. Well, I took all the hardware and old rustic hinges out. So I have a really nice old antique uh, little, little draw pull here, which will be fine for opening the front of the mailbox door. Oops, we're just going to put it on a, uh, I'll put it on a piano hinge, nothing major. And I think for, uh, for the fact that I've been a dog uh, enthusiast and I've had basset hounds for close to 30 years, well, that's what's going to go on the, uh, the front door right below the little door pull. We're going to put a little basset hound engraving on there, all right? All right, now as far as the rest of the box goes, I told you I will include stills with this, and I have. Uh, but this is basically our mailbox. We can see, uh, I'm hoping you guys can see this all right. We've got, uh, we've got our, our street number on here with a couple puppy dog prints. Again, we're a big, uh, big Basset Hound family here. I put my composite roof panels on. The only thing that I did do here is I ran one side of the roof up and a little bit beyond so that I could tuck the, uh, the other side of the roof up under it. I put just a small little bead of 100%, I think it says, yeah, it says 100% pure silicone. And then when I butt it, uh, and it dries, it'll just prevent any water from getting down inside. We basically did, uh, I did the engraving inside the machine. I told you I was going to include a, a project package for you on this. We have included this. I've nested it. Uh, so as I can get this video out and get it to all of you tonight, uh, the VCARF Pro tutorial end of it will be a separate video. I will have that up and hopefully available uh, with the shout out for tomorrow for Wednesday, okay? A simple, simple project. There was nothing to this. And again, I built this out of scrap material that was just kicking around in this shop in the back room. Uh, if I had to go out and buy my material, I would have probably done things a little bit differently. But all in all, it's a solid build. It's a nice mailbox. As I said earlier, it'll take, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll cross off a honeydew item. And uh, plus, I, thought, I think it was a pretty good tutorial. The other thing we're going to do in VCarve Pro is we're going to also, I wanted to make this a little modular by design. So the other thing coming up that I will be doing this winter, uh, I'm going to be making some roosting boxes to put out in the facade for some of my little songbirds to just get in out of the cold. Well, we're going to include in this, when we, uh, when we programmed the ends in the mailbox, well, what we'll do is we'll program these up so that if you wanted, you could also convert this mailbox into, say, a, I don't know, maybe a, maybe a nice big birdhouse for a, for a larger bird species. But we'll make it modular so that you can do more than one thing with it, all right? All right, everybody, as always, thank you so much for your support. We are really climbing up the ladder now, and I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to see what's, what's now going to unfold as we, uh, we come into the winter months. So, uh, as always, you stay tuned. I am going to do my best to bring you more. We'll try to bring you some more projects like this. And uh, thank you, as always. Thank you, thank you for all your support, following us, and subscribing to us, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Have a great week. It's only four days, so it's a little easier to uh, digest this week, anyways. And uh, you know, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the midweek shout out, and then we'll see you uh, Sunday for our Sunday evening vlog. Okay, everyone, you take care, enjoy your week, be safe, get home safely, and we'll see you soon. All right, everyone, bye bye.